the roads, they are blocked off. The DJs, yes, they are ready to go. If you live in downtown Miami, you better be prepared for large crowds and a lot of loud music because it's here. In just hours, Ultra Music Festival is going to be kicking off. Yeah, nearly 170,000 of our closest wow. friends are expected <laughs> to hit Bayfront Park for this three-day event. And that's where we find CBS News Miami's Nicole Lauren, who's been covering the safety logistics for the past couple mm -hmm. of days. You've spoken with a number of emergency personnel, and they are really ramping up their presence out there. They are, and I know Austin's going to get to this in just a moment, but take a look here behind me. Police already out here this morning. It was pretty hard for my photographer, Manny, and I to find this live shot location because the streets are already shut down here in downtown Miami. So I already gave you a glimpse of how police are preparing for this three-day massive music festival, but I'm going to give you an in-depth look at how our first responders, our firefighters, and our paramedics are getting ready to keep you you safe. I want you to take a look at some video that we got from City of Miami Fire Rescue on the caravan that we can expect to see leaving their headquarters around noon today as they head to Bayfront Park. They're telling me that, you know, they're going to have tons of gear and devices equipped with them to keep you safe. Everything from backpacks with first aid kits, radios, bikes, scooters, just to name a few. Now, in total, every single day, this three day festival, they're going to have 100 firefighters and paramedics out there. So I asked them, what are the types of transport calls that they notice at big festivals like this one? A lot of the common things that we see are dehydration, uh, intoxication, uh, injuries from people dancing or stumbling or falling. Uh, sometimes people have medical emergencies. So another thing is that if you do take medications and you're going to be there for a long period of time, take your medications with you, whether you're a diabetic or you have seizures. So those are the common things that we see. That's why we continuously uh, promote hydration. So we talked about this in our last hour of news at five o'clock. You know, I did mention they felt like last year at Ultra, it was their safest Ultra yet, which I think is pretty surprising after that couple year pause that the festival had because of the pandemic. So I want to talk about some of those numbers. In total, the transports for the three day event, 171 transports. I mentioned this the other day, 18 arrests. So guys, let's put that in perspective with those numbers compared to the, I think it was 160,000 thousand people that were there last year so I have to say those numbers are pretty low yeah. when you compare and contrast them you definitely can't complain about that I mean yeah give, given the numbers there and the sheer crowd I mean th this thing is phenomenal yeah. how it just attracts people from all over the world and yeah it's and it, our first responders they're like finely tuned machine here they right. are able to handle all of this yeah all right Nicole thank you good stuff there